there is no equivalent for transaction per second in a holochain in general. We just can't do it because that's the whole problem with the blockchain world and what we're doing something different about. If you have a world in which every, every update of the state of the entire system operates in lockstep, which is exactly what the blockchain does, is you're trying to make it go in lockstep. You're trying to approve the lock of the step. You're approving the block that you're transacting to. That's what you're measuring. And that's your basic underlying fundamental unit. In Holochain, that's not what you do. What you do is this much more interesting thing, which is you tune the number of transactions, the, the amount of validation for what you might call a transaction in your particular app to the validation level that's required for that app, right? So how many transactions per second you'll be able to do in a Twitter app, you know, a Twitter style app will be one thing. How many transactions per second you do in an app that has five total players because you're using basically a Google Docs type interface and you're collaborating in, an, in updating um, a, a document in real time or in chat, these will all be different based on how many total people there are, how, what saturation uh, on the network of the DHT you call valid, right? Because it's about validation. When do you become confident that something is real? Something real has happened. That's what, that's what the blockchain solves. We become confident that something real has happened and call it a transaction when somebody solves the lottery problem of the hash. Well, in Holochain, there are lots of different solutions to when something real has happened. And so I can't give that to you. Um, but I'm very excited for the world in which you get to tune the number of transactions per second you want for the validation level that you need to be satisfied that something is okay for your, your application.